Hey everybody, Layla here at Process Driven, back with another quick video talking about different settings and features in ClickUp. Today, I wanna to talk about notifications. Um, I do expect this feature to be changing relatively soon, judging by what the rumors are I'm hearing in the ClickUp fan groups. But nonetheless, notifications right now are one of the most annoying features about ClickUp and most task management tools when you first switch to them. So today, I wanna to talk about how to alter yours to be a little bit less terrible. <laughs> So down here in the corner, you will see settings for the space if you're an admin, but also settings for yourself. If you go right into that area, you'll see a notifications tab, which I want you to click on. Here you will see the whole wide world of notifications that exist for ClickUp. And this is where it becomes clear why this is so overwhelming. Um, ClickUp allows you to be notified for just about everything in case you don't want to log in ever. <laughs> but all of these notifications become an acute form of hell when you're not using the tool very often. So I would recommend if you are just getting started to consider just turning off all of the notifications. <laughs> just, just for now, um, to turn them all off until you're ready to turn them on, until you understand what each one is. So I'm gonna turn them all off. Just, I can do that by the label here and just turn off everything. You will not be able to turn off the web ones, the ones that actually show up inside the tool. You can turn off email, those push notifications, just go through every single one and click or double click, depending on what you need to, turn off those notifications. You can even turn off some of the web ones, but I'm gonna leave them on for now. Leave the web ones on just so you've got that awareness for now and let's turn them all off. Doesn't this feel good? I'm already feeling better. Oh, we've got them all off. Nope, this one's still on. Turn off that one. Just go down until you see all of the notifications. Oh my gosh, I must have missed some. Get them all off. All right. Ah, beautiful. Once they are all off, um, go back through and actually consider what you might want to turn on. I mean, it's amazing how few of them you actually are going to want to turn on. Um, what I would recommend is anything that is directly, you know, calling out to you those you probably want to turn on in whatever form you're going to check. So if you're always on the app, turn on the mobile. If you're always on your email, turn on the email. If you check both, I would only check one box or the other so you're not getting double notified. Um, be very minimalist when it comes to these notifications because if you're using the tool often, the easiest thing is to just use the in-app notifications and avoid the duplicity of going back and forth. But nonetheless, let's just assume you're not always checking the app as often as you would. Let's see what we want to turn on. One I would recommend is turning on assigned comments. Let's say I don't check anything consistently, so we want it, all of them on, which is why I'm checking the double check here. I can also just check one or the other. Um, let's keep going. Resolve comments, I don't care. Comments assigned to me, yeah. Comments that mention me, yeah. <laughs> I don't care about new comments or likes. None of that stuff matters. Um, I do not care about new tasks. Let's say I'm not the manager, not my problem. Keep going. Tasks assigned to me, that seems like an important one. I'm gonna leave that one on. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I'm sorry, this is a little bit moving. If I'm directly mentioned, once again, I'm gonna turn that on. Keep going, keep going. Again, these are gonna be dependent on you, but most of these, I have a big old I don't care button in my head. Checklist items assigned to me. Again, they're mentioning me. All right, yeah, I'll get, <laughs> I'll get those assigned. Um, Due dates. This one's a very personal one. Do you like to be pinged and reminded a lot of the times or do you get pinged and then just totally start ignoring everything? I get pinged and totally start ignoring everything. So I don't like any of these. Um, maybe I will do, maybe let's turn on one. What do I want? Ah, how about this? Maybe I'm more of a preventative person. I don't like to be pinged all the time, but I like to have kind of a summary of what's coming up. So here I'm going to turn on all tasks assigned to me. I want a daily kind of update on what due dates are coming up every day at 7 a.m. Since I actually don't want that, I'm gonna turn that off, but you could turn that on if you are someone who likes that daily digest. Again, more things you can turn on based on your preference and based on what all you wanna be notified about. Okie dokie, click apps. Just to break out even more options, if you want notifications about any of these changes, turn them on, I don't see why you would. So I'm actually gonna turn them off even in the app because I do not care. Moving on down, integrations, don't have any of them in this account, so it doesn't matter. And now we're down to list info. Very important section, somehow tucked on the bottom. Again, if they mention me, I want to know. If lists are assigned to me, I want to know. Priority change, don't care. Again, I 
that's my shortcut. If they're assigned to me, I want to know them. I don't care about anything else. Um, maybe chats do matter to you, in which case you'd want to turn these on, but I'm just giving you the default, in which case, nope, don't care. <laughs> um, sharing. Um, maybe you want to have these turned on if you don't frequently share things. You want to be notified when things are shared. And again, I'm being mentioned. I want to know. So that's the shortcut. You'll see I've took, taken this list and reduced it probably by about half of how many things are on by default. Um, I'm also going to make sure that this is slowed down a little bit. Um, and that's what I would turn on when it comes to notifications. The biggest pain in the butt right now, right now with ClickUp and all other task tools is that when you first adopt them, you might probably aren't in the habit of checking them very often. And if you don't go in and adjust this very quickly, you start to get tons and tons and tons of notifications. Every time anything is changed, you get a unique email, which just makes you want to kill the tool. <laughs> um, makes your organization very upset. If you're working with guests in ClickUp, they need to do this as well. Unfortunately, at this point, you cannot control your guest notifications. So every single guest, every single client, every single consultant, collaborator, subcontractor, unfortunately, um, send them this video. Tell them, hey, friend, I know I'm inviting you to click up. I know you hate getting invited to people's project management tools, but tough, this one's awesome. By the way, when you get in there, watch this video, you know, the video you're watching right now, whoops, <laughs> and turn off your notifications um, because otherwise you're gonna hate me more than you need to just because you've never set them up properly. So that's how I would play with notifications. Just to review where we got or how we got here, click on the corner, go to notifications, change them that easy. You do not need to hit save. As you'll notice, there's no save button. It all saves automatically um, as I refresh. And it's all just saved. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions about notifications, I probably can't answer them because this, I think the settings area is going to change pretty quickly, but I will do my best. Leave them in the comments. Let me know if this was helpful. And of course, feel free to share this with whomever is getting stressed out by the notifications in ClickUp or really any tool, because if there's one lesson you're learning here about adopting a task management tool, it's that make sure the notifications are you know, reined in before you start rolling it out to the really tech averse or technophobic people on your team because they will hate you. Um, so that's it for this video. If you'd like to see more video like this, if you enjoy seeing tutorials, tips, workflow hacks, definitely subscribe to this channel or go down to the description of this video and join my free Facebook group where we get to talk about this stuff live. We get to answer your questions, see your workflows. So it's a little bit less, you know, monologue like. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day, peeps.